Hey, hello there, and welcome to Todd Miller TV, your resource for what's current in the Las Vegas real estate market. And what is hot in the real estate market right now are trustee sales. You know, people going down to the courthouse, steps, so to speak, buying properties directly, cash, and then uh, either living in them or flipping them. So what I wanted to do was talk to you about some tips and things you can do that will make your experience there you know, more fun, more profitable, and all around a better experience. Um, so I went ahead and made notes and I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget anything because they're all really important. Okay, the first thing that I wrote down is to do your homework, and this is why. You know, uh, th there's some nuances with, 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 with houses and what they're worth based on where they are. You know, just because it's a 3,000 square foot house in a certain neighborhood and another house like it sold for 400,000, doesn't mean that house is worth 400,000. You know, it might be that that was on um, like a large, it had nothing behind it, mountain views, and your house, this other house you're going to bid on is like nestled away somewhere. It's, it's surrounded by other houses and it's smaller lot and it could be worth a lot less. So there could be some big differences between the properties or it could be a model match in an inferior neighborhood. You know, one house could be in a guard gated, the other house couldn't be. And then when you're pulling the comps or you're, you're looking on Zillow maybe or wherever, you think it's worth a lot more than it is and you end up getting stung. You want to really do your homework. Hey, is that a first trust deed or is that a second trust deed? You don't want to buy a second trust deed because the first is going to foreclose on you and you're going to, you're going to have lost your money. You know, HOAs, back taxes, so do your homework. Number one thing, okay, most important, so I wrote it down first. Number two is don't get emotional. You know, I've seen people down there, they really want it, they, and they, they think they got it, and someone outbids them by 100 bucks, and then they end up in a bidding war, and in the end, you know, people are scratching their heads why it went that far, because the house isn't worth what, what the final bid was. was. Um, you no know, matter what your reason down there for, for purchasing, shouldn't be emotional, it needs to be just a business decision, okay? Uh, next thing I wrote down is be patient. Um, you know, there's a lot of cancellations, there's a lot of postponements. So when you're bidding on a property and you have maybe one property in mind and you get to the, that day of the sale and they announce it's been canceled or postponed, just relax and you know, wait for it to come back. You, you may not get it uh, the first day it comes up, okay? Uh, so that's number three. Number four. Don't just pick the properties that have an opening bid. Now, you're saying, well, how do I know then what the opening bid is? Well, here's the thing. Let's say there's 100 properties going to sale and 10 have opening bids. Well, the 10 that have opening bids, everybody's going to do research on those. They're all going to calculate what they think it's worth, what their max bid is. They're all alerted on those. The other ones, they don't know what's going to happen, so a lot of times they, people forget about them. That's where your big opportunity is. It's the properties that don't have an opening bid. They just they're slated for that day. We don't know what's going to happen. Maybe you know the house is worth 200. The the note is 300. But the opening bid may come in the morning of the sale, and nobody's going to have time to pull comps and figure out what it is. So, you know, if, if you look at all those properties and say, hey, if this one came to market, you know, came to the sale, what would it be? And then you do that math ahead of time so that when they're staying there and they go. Hey, one, two, three Elm Street opening bid is eighty thousand. People are scratching their head, going, "Oh my gosh, what's this thing worth?" You know, we we don't have this on our list, and um, and you have a you've done your research, so that that's going to uh, be a, a big tip for you there. Okay, all right. So the last tip is you've done everything, you've, you've done your research, you were patient, um, you didn't get emotional, you know, you found that deal, you got it, and now what? Okay. Um, the next thing is having the right team of people to help you with the house. It's having the right contractors to get it in shape. It's having the right agent to get on the market and get it marketed for you and, and manage that process. Um, whether you're doing one house or a bunch of houses, it's really key because on some of these houses, there's really big potential to make money. On some, there's very slim. And you may get a house that makes sense, but if you're overpaying for the services involved, then by the time you get it to market and sell it, then you know it just you're not making very much profit. So um, anyway, that is my update for today, and uh, I hope to see you on the next update. Remember that if you there's RSS feed and there's email, you can click on there to um, to get this a, a notification every time I do a um, a video blog, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks a lot.